Much cooler today and what a blessing that is but there's thunderstorms um, forecast for today so we'll see if that happens but a little bit of respite from this heat is brilliant So my friend Greg has given me a whole lot of um, offcuts, which um, worst case scenario I can use as firewood as well, but um, they're quite quite nice pieces of wood. I might be able to use them in framing something. I'm just trying to offload this before feeding. And the sheep know that I'm out here, so you can hear them making a noise while they're waiting for me to go. Sort them out this morning. Yes, Red Velvet. Are you coming to say good morning? Hmm? Look how fat you're getting. Look at that. Look at you. You're an Oompa Loompa.
to have a peach. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a piece of peach? Oh, there we go. Some more peach. Hmm? You want some more peach? Cake is starting to swell a bit at the back. So definitely within the next couple of weeks. Oh, the sheep don't like it when I feed the pigs first. Toffee over here is also starting to, um, she's starting to definitely get a milk line over there, you can see. And she's also getting a bit slacker at the back. So, um, within the next few weeks as well. Who's going to be first, cupcake or toffee? Now, I'm not saying that Sweetie Pie is a genius, but I am absolutely blown away by her intelligence, deviousness, maybe. So I threw out um, the rest of the Swiss chard this morning. So she actually grabbed a whole lot and she carried it up into that area over there in the forest, left it there, went running back to the rest of the herd to eat over there as if she hadn't grabbed anything. And uh, when they had finished eating it over there, she then ran back to where she had secreted and hidden her cache of Swiss chard. <laughs> that is so smart. So none of the others got to eat it because she took it and hid it over there and then went back, ate with the others and then when that was finished went running back to go and eat her loot. So for those of you wondering what I paint onto the um, cordwood um, that I prepared to preserve it so it doesn't start going rotten. This is xylophene that I put on. So what I do is once I've removed the bark, I first let them dry out for a year or two. I remove the bark and then I sand it down and after it's sanded down, I put on this um, wood preserver. Got another good uh, tomato haul today. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with all these tomatoes. It's about, I reckon, about a month two months before these acorns are going to start dropping in the oak forest that you see there we are pigs are going to be in heaven but the sheep also like acorns <laughs> 